Hi, this is JP from Not the Lights of Arkham. Welcome to another Marvel Champions LCG playthrough. And this time we are playing against the fourth scenario in the Age of Apocalypse campaign box, and it is Dark Beast. Uh, the setup looks uh, surprisingly simple, but I think we are not seeing the whole picture here. But uh, either way, we are playing with uh, Magic's pre-built uh, aggression deck for this playthrough on standard difficulty and we are using the standard 3 encounter set instead of the normal standard encounter set. So without further delay, let's get started. We are ready to begin, so the last thing we need to do is when dog Beast is revealed. We have a four, uh, when revealed ability here. So reveal a random set aside environment and shuffle the rest of its encounter set into the encounter deck. So in the setup, we were uh, putting these uh, sets aside. We have the Blue Moon, Genosha, and Savage Land encounter sets. So we'll take the environments, shuffle them up, and pick one at random. Uh, the, I have a feeling we are going to see more of these when the game progresses shuffled into the encounter deck. So we'll pick this one. We have the blue moon encounter set. So we'll set up these or leave those set, up, set be, uh, aside out of play. And oh yeah, uh, we need to shuffle, put the blue area of the moon and environment into play. And uh, I'll just quickly look into this. I haven't read it before. So set up each minion gains guard. Special deal one damage to your identity. When revealed, discard each other setting environment in play. Okay, uh, the special, mm, I have no idea what triggers that. Uh, forced interrupt, okay, that uh, explains it so. Uh, Dark Beast has uh, forced interrupt. When Dark Beast attacks you, resolve the special ability on the setting environment. So uh, every time Dark Beast attacks me, I will get. Uh, I, I'll have to deal one damage to my identity. So that is only when uh, Dark Beast attacks, not when uh, he schemes. Okay. We'll just give this a quick shuffle and we are ready to go. I'll give my own deck a quick shuffle too. Uh, as a reminder, this will be my blind playthrough for this scenario. So if I make any uh, play errors or uh, mistakes, just leave a comment down below in the comment section so I can play better next time but I'm bound to do some errors in these blind playthroughs, but it is what it is. Okay, so we are ready to draw our opening hand. Let's see what we get. So we get the Blood Gem, that's good. We got Tempos, we got the Power of Aggression, Stepping Disc, Spiritual Meditation and Triage. Okay, I'm not uh, that keen on getting Triage into play. Mm, Tempus could be interesting. We can't play Tempus unless we go to Alter Ego. So I, th uh, I mean into uh, Hero Mode uh, because we don't have the X-Men trait here. Uh, okay, I think I want to Play Spiritual Meditation now, draw two cards, we get Cold Balls and Soul Strike. And we need to discard one, I'll discard Triage for now. Or uh, actually I'm going to... Uh, I haven't played Gold Balls yet, so I think I'll keep... Yeah, I'll discard Triage. No, uh, I'll discard Tempus. Okay, so uh, we'll go to the hero 
mode. So we sh uh, put one of our uh, spells in on top of our deck. So I'll put the Spiritual Meditation on top. So I'm going to play Spiritual Meditation. We'll draw two cards. We get uh, Full Body Charge and a Globber. So a Globber won't be the first card I'll play this round. So I'll just discard it. Not that useful at the moment. Um, I'll use the power of aggression and the full body charge. No, I think we could play full body charge just to deal a ton of damage right away to Dark Beast. So I'm using the power of aggression, uh, triage and uh, I'm actually playing the Blood Gem first and tapping that for this activation. So I only need to use these two cards. Uh, just I have to think. Okay. Uh, that is our top card. So the Soul Strike would stun the enemy, that's great. So this will be just to <laughs> deal a ton of damage this run. So <clears throat> using the uh, Blood Gem, I'll deal two damage to myself. Then uh, we spend the power of aggression, triage and uh, uh, yeah, we are not playing gold balls. But I, do I want to save Trias? No. Okay, that's everything we are going to spend for full body charts. And <clears throat> we don't have less than uh, half of our uh, hit points remaining, so we don't get overkill, but that doesn't matter. We'll deal 8 damage to Dark Beast. And uh, that's pretty strong start for my liking. And. Uh, Oh yeah, I, I still have the gold balls in hand because I used the power of aggression, triage and the blood gem to play uh, full body charge. Then uh, I'll use gold balls and stepping disc to play so soul strike and the top card is a uh, physical resource so we stun the enemy. So we deal four more damage. So Dark Beast is already down to 3 and it is stunned, so that's a good start. And we might as well hit for 2 more damage. So maybe next round we get to advance to phase 2. We'll go, uh, we'll ready up, draw back up to 5. So we have Exorcism, two Spiritual Meditations, Colossus and Soul Sword. Okay, we'll go to the villain phase. We add one threat to the main scheme. Dark Beast tries to attack. So we remove the stun and we get an encounter card, which is Sinister Strike. Uh, place one pursuit counter on the pursuit by the past. Then if it has any counters on it, the villain attacks you. So Dark Beast gets to attack us, uh, attacks for 2 plus, I'm not, well I'll defend for this one. Uh, 2 plus, 2 is 4, we'll take 2 damage and we have to take 1 damage because of this. And that is that, so that is that round, oh yeah this has readied. Uh, could we have played anything? Uh, no. So. That is that round, let's go to the next round. Okay, well... Um, actually, last round... We could have played uh, Colossus, which was my bad, and... Uh, yeah... So we could have... Uh, not taken the three damage which we took so I'm I'm taking a bit of backsies here 
So we ended up playing uh, Colossus, which had tough and defended for the second activation. Uh, we still take the one damage, I think, because uh, Dark Beast uh, made an attack against uh, me. And yeah, we still need to pay for uh, the Blood Gem. So I'm using, uh, I mean the Colossus, so I'm using these three. I'm using the Blood Gem to play Soul Sword. And uh, unfortunately we don't have... Uh, uh, wild or physical resource on top of our deck, so that's a bummer, but uh, either way we will hit uh, Dark Beast to phase 2. Forced interrupt when Dark Beast attacks you, resolve the special ability on the setting environment. When revealed, reveal a random set aside environment and shuffle the rest of it. Uh, its encounter set into the encounter deck, deal its player an encounter card. Okay, so this gets discarded and we shuffle the Genosha and Savage Lands and uh, get one of those into play. We'll get this one, so we get the Savage Land, we'll look at that in a moment. So these get shuffled into the encounter deck, then we get one encounter card. And uh, Dark Beast level, our phase 2 has 18 hit points. And uh, nothing else at the moment, so... Okay, let's see what Savage Lands does. So the villain gains Retaliate 1, ouch. Uh, special discard the top three cards of your deck. Okay, that's not that bad. And that is our whole turn. Uh, we'll ready up, draw back up to five. We get Soul Strikes, Scrying, the power of aggression, test the defense, and Limbo. Okay. We'll go to the villain phase. We add one threat here. Dark Beast attacks. Colossus will defend. And uh, two plus two is four, so Colossus is defeated. And we discard the top three cards of our deck. And now we have the Blood Rage on top, and we get an encounter. Oh, yeah, we should have one encounter. To card. Actually, this would have been dealt to us. So, uh, this is the boost card. It is the same thing. Then we get an encounter card and we get haunted. So, alter ego action, discard a card from your hand, discard this card, and we get time travel shenanigans. When defeated, the player who defeated this scheme discards cards from the top of the encounter deck until they discard a card from the same encounter set as the setting environment and reveals the just discarded card. And it comes into play with two and has a um, acceleration token. But that is that round. Let's go to the next round. Now we only need to deal 18 damage to Dark Beast to win. But it's easier said than done. So I'm using Scrying, look at the top three cards of your deck, Basic Spell, Mystical Armor and Blood Rage. So we'll discard Blood Rage. We'll take a Mystical Armor into our hand and place 
basic spell on top of our deck. I think I really need to get to Alter Ego to Or I could play the basic spell actually. Yeah, I'll do that. So I'll use test testy defense and power of aggression to play the basic spell. We'll remove threat. So we'll remove three from here. Magic barrier. So we know we have the magic barrier in hand. Okay. So I will play Limbo uh, or use Limbo and Mystical Armor to play Soul Strike, which will also stun Dark Beast. So down to 14. And uh, the Dark Beast is stunned. Then I think I will flip to Alter Ego, heal 3, and we'll go from there. So we draw back up to 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Nice, we get full body charge. And uh, we'll go to the villain phase. We add two threat to the main scheme. Uh, Dark Beast schemes for two plus uh, after this activation resolves, place one pursuit counter on the pursuit by the past. So we add two threat to the main scheme. And we get an encounter card, which is War Star. Teamwork. Uh, Oh yeah, uh, we took one damage from the Retaliate, which I forgot. Uh, okay, so Warstar is one scheme, two attack, five hit points, Imperial Guard, teamwork, Imperial Guard. When revealed, discard the top card of the encounter deck. If that card is an Imperial Guard minion, reveal it, otherwise resolve the special ability on the setting environment. It is not an Imperial Guard, so we just discard uh, three cards. One, two, three. Okay. And that is it. So that is that round. Let's go to the next round. Okay. Um, I think we'll try to set up a win for in a uh, win for us in a couple of turns here. So I'm just double checking. This guy doesn't have guard, so that's okay. Uh, we won't heal. Oh yeah, I forgot we have an extra encounter card last round. So we also get, get uh, Velo... Actually... Yeah, this should have been in our hand, so... Okay, uh, let's say uh, we had this as our second encounter card, and this was discarded because War Star. So, uh, yeah, sorry about the play mistakes, but I'll try to reverse so that we have played correctly. So, when real, each Nemesis minion in play activates against you. If no minions activated this way, place three Pursuit counters on Pursuit by the past. So, we have uh, four. Or five here, so this does this, and uh, then we uh, find our nemesis minion and reveal it. So set aside area for your nemesis side scheme and reveal it. Shuffle your remaining set aside nemesis sets into the encounter deck. Flip this card back over. So uh, we get Velasco. And uh, we also get Ruler of Limbo, and these are shuffled, shuffled into our deck. Okay, this complicates our uh, game plan quite a bit. So, 
So uh, Belasco is uh, one scheme, one attack, six hit points, elite limbo, villainous force response. After Belasco activates against you, discard the top three cards of your deck. If ruler of limbo is in play, attach those cards to its face to, uh, to its face down. Okay. So, how do we want to proceed from here? I think, uh, let's count, can I play... I can play fully body charge and basic spell, which is a total of 11. And I can hit for 3 or 2, so that should be enough. So we can actually win this round if we can play everything. So full body charge we need 4 resources. And uh, for basic spell we need one more card which we can get. Okay, I think we can possibly win this round. So I'll flip to hero mode. I'll put one spell on top of my deck and it will be spiritual meditation. I'll play the spiritual meditation, I'll draw two, discard one, it doesn't matter which I discard. And we have the clobber, which is a physical resource, so now I think we might actually just win the game here. So first off, we'll play full body charge using stepping disc, exorcism, Stefford Cocos Magic Barrier. We deal 8 damage to Dark Beast, take 1 damage as a retaliate. Then we'll play basic spell. I'll use the Blood Gem and Blood Rage. So we take 2 damage from Blood gem and we deal three damage to an enemy. And we take one uh, uh, retaliate and we will just hit for three damage. and defeat Dark Beast. So, I think I played this correctly. Um, yeah, there were a couple of mistakes I made, uh, but I think I corrected them on the following turns. But uh, yeah, I, I think we got a really powerful start getting the full body charge uh, fire off twice and having another spell to fire off on the same turn. So, that really, really made this um, feel trivial, but uh, we were really close of getting just killed if we couldn't have uh, executed the kill, kill shot here with uh, magic. But yeah, that was a Dark Beast on standard difficulty with the uh, magic pre-built aggression deck. Hope you guys like this playthrough. Thanks for watching and until next time.